This is gonna start some fights. I know. Live I feel like you guys are saying like, <laughs> like trying to like give really us questions us that are going to like, look worse. Than you guys. It annoys me. So like, it happened before church last Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> specific. <laughs> you guys just have the gotcha. perfect relationship, don't you? Well, we're pretty amazing. Really funny in hindsight. At the moment, it was not, but that's probably one of our funnier memories. <laughs> Who had the most crushes growing up? <laughs> that, sounds, that, that sounds really bad. What? You know me. <laughs> Welcome back to the Sister Sip. This is a very exciting episode because we have our very first guests on the podcast. All right, so this is Oliver. Hi, <laughs> I'm Oliver. This is my husband, Hi Oliver. Guys. And then <laughs> my husband, Keegan. Hello. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get straight into what we're sipping because I made these drinks about 45 minutes to an hour ago. (laughs) (laughs) Setup took a little bit longer, so they're probably not hot anymore. But this is a maple vanilla steamer. I'm so so excited to try. I hope it's good. Let me get them for everyone. Steamer. If you dump this on my couch, I probably won't do anything about it, but I'll be grumpy. You guys be very careful. You probably only need to take one sip and we can set them down. Can we not drink them during the podcast? No, because apparently you're a child who cannot handle himself. It looks like a marshmallow. Oh. <laughs> These steamers are like the best. All right, they didn't wait for us to try them. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize I didn't we were waiting. Yeah, I didn't drink okay. it yet. Just pretend that I didn't drink that. Okay. Yeah, that could be edited out, right? Okay. Three, two, one. Shall we try? Yum. I think it would be good if it was hot still. Oliver, actually, how was your very first try of that? I think it's actually really good. <laughs> It's very vanilla-y, which I like. Maybe it's too much vanilla, but no, not at all. Lukewarm milk. It tastes like milk with a little bit of like whipped cream in it. Yeah, I can see that. I think a steamer is the perfect drink if you are a not coffee drinker like me. The caffeine kind of bugs me, and if you just want that warm, <laughs> cozy, he can finish this already. <laughs> that is pretty good. That, that is actually pretty, pretty good. good, isn't it? Yeah, you I know. Can I have the rest of mine too. But if you want a warm, cozy, like latte feel. This is a yeah, great go to. It's really good. But it's cold. And winter. <laughs> 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 so, if you want a warm, cozy feel without <laughs> actually being right warm away. or cozy, <laughs> you can make it, then wait an hour and a half, and then drink it. <laughs> this is going to be a little bit more chaotic of an episode. I'm so excited. I am a little nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous because Keegan can be a little unhinged. <laughs> Wild political <That's> right. views. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Okay. Absolutely wild. All right, so what's our segment called where we do life updates? <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's been a hot minute since we've recorded. It's been a really long time. I do want to tell you guys what we're even doing okay, in today's no, episode do. before we get into our what's brewing segment. So you guys have a little something to look forward to. We're going to be kind of playing like the newlywed game. I don't know if it's technically that where we're kind of asking each other different questions. Making it a little bit more simpler version of it. Yeah, so it's going to be a super fun way for us you guys to get to know us our husbands and i'm really excited about it but first jayla what's been brewing in your (laughs) life (laughs) so since last time we got together for the podcast oliver and i went to puerto rico which was super fun did you enjoy that yeah it was fun we go about every year his family has a house down there and so we usually go down um, with the whole family and that's always a really fun way to start the year well i was shivering in ohio (laughs) (laughs) it's fine (laughs) no it looked so fun it was very fun and other than that there hasn't been much going on i'm ready for summer to come and have more exciting things what did you guys do in puerto rico what did you do oliver i fished Caught lots of big fish. He did not catch very many fish at what, all. What, <laughs> well, what kind of fish that I fishing. caught were nice. The truth. Fish, I feel like. <laughs> what kind of fish did you catch? I caught a snapper. I had a tarpon on, but it got off. <laughs> Lies. Oh, it was big, though. <laughs> Lies. Oh, wow. We totally believe you. <laughs> it got off, but it, <laughs> it, was, it was like, like really this big. big. <laughs> and then so we fun. spent a lot of beach time and had a lot of good food and it was really fun. Sounds like fun. Yeah, I don't have a ton of life updates either, which is okay, so we can get into our segment, but one of them is that one of our best friends had a baby. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oops. <laughs> has no- Sydney. <laughs> yeah, it has nothing to do with me and my life, but it's the first time I've had like a really close yeah. friend, like my age, have a baby, yeah. and it's just such a cool thing to watch your friends become parents. Yeah, it's kind of like... 
it almost feels like I'm an aunt or something. She's not my sister, but we're really close. It's so fun to have someone in your friend group just have a little baby like that. It was so fun to go and see her in the hospital. I, I don't think I've ever been in the hospital to see someone after they've had their baby. So that was really fun. The only other thing is that I've been on such a reading book kick. It's just like a little flex. <laughs> that is nice. I wish I did that more. <laughs> no, it's not actually a flex. I don't read that much, but... Like, a couple years ago, I set a goal for myself to read a book a month, and I totally failed. And I don't know if it's just getting a library card. I love our local library. Just got a card. And I've just naturally fallen in love with reading. I tried to not, like, set any goals or force myself to read. But I think I just kind of found my niche. I kind of found, like, some fun historical fiction reads, which I think are just my niche. They're, like, the kind of books I read when I was little. Like, all the American Girl books. Yep. And so I'm trying to find, like... Haven't matured at all. (laughs) Yep, I'm still the same. But I'm trying to find more, like, grown-up versions of those books. And maybe it's just a little nostalgic, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, that's what I've been up to. It's been nice just to slow down this past month as we prepare for spring. Do you boys have any fun life updates? I just wanted to talk about how I got a Milwaukee Weed Whacker, not sponsored, but... I'm really excited to get in the yard and do outdoor uh, outdoor projects because the cause it's actually getting warm enough and the grass is growing. Pretty I'm, hyped. I'm pretty excited for you to have a what weed about whacker you? too. Yeah. What about you, Oliver? Any life updates? Not really. I mean, we closed on our house, which is nice. Oh, yeah. That's, That's kind of true. a big yeah. deal. We closed on our house. so. Congratulations. You guys are yeah. homeowners. Mm-hmm. He's struggling to keep yeah, the mic keep close. <laughs> Sorry if you couldn't <laughs> hear. Basically. They yeah. closed on their house. Lift yeah, their that was a fun accomplishment this month. Okay, so we're going to get to our segment. So basically, I came up with some questions for you guys. So I'm going to have like a basic question, and then you guys will both answer it for each other. So if I ask, let's say, like, what's your favorite color? Keegan will say what he thinks Kinsley's favorite color is, and she'll see if he's right or wrong, and then she'll say his. Okay. Vice versa. Do you want to so. kind of alternate our questions? Yeah, we'll just alternate. So Okay. I'm ready. What is your favorite junk food? For Keegan, I it might be Reese's, and that's how you say it. Is there another way to say it? People think Reese's. Ew, I've never heard I've that. I've never heard Reese's? that before. Okay. I guess I've always I've heard really Reese's. Uh, the, the thing that immediately popped to mind was donuts. For me? Eh. Oh, no, for oh, me. Oh, for you. Ooh, okay. Let's okay. keep track of points. Oh, because if it's competitive, it's fun. <laughs> yep. Let's go. Okay, you can keep track of points. Okay, uh, for you, hmm, I'm going to say that... <laughs> Failure. I'm going to say that you're... At least right now, we have these dark chocolates that you bought, and I would say that that... Is that really junk food, though? Yes. Dark. Yeah, so dark sure. chocolate. Yeah. Yes, yeah, specifically the sea salt dark chocolate truffles. Is that what you thought of? I didn't really think of something immediately, so I was like, <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> the power of suggestion. Fine. Okay, what's your question for Oliver and I? Who is the dreamer and who's the realist? Oh. See, mine aren't, very, mine are not very this competitive. Is very easy, I feel like, because I feel like I'm definitely the dreamer. Okay. I feel like I would for sure be the dreamer. Like, I always, like, dream of stuff. You're supposed to say why, I'm saying. Honestly, you guys can just discuss. Sometimes. Okay. This actually might be better just to discuss and not keep track of points. Can you call that out? I'll try. <laughs> this is going to be super professional. Okay, so all over your are the dreamer. Yeah, I feel like I'm definitely a dreamer. I always dream of, like, trips and stuff that'd be fun to take. So, basically, he has all these dreams, and I get, like, super excited about them. I'm like, yes, let's do that. And then you turn into the realist, and you're like, but I can't, I can't take off work, and like, da-da-da-da-da, and then I get super depressed. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Is that not true? I, know, I just, I love, like, dreaming <laughs> and fantasizing about, like, places to go. And, and by dreaming, it's like, it's like extravagant dreams, like taking a van to go, like, to South America, and, like, it's not, like, little trips here and there. It's, like, these big, fun, like, life excursions. Yeah. I'm like, okay, yes, like, I'm totally on board. Let's do that. And the reality is, it's like, it is kind of hard to make stuff like that happen. And then I dream all these things, and I'm like, oh, that sounds like fun to do. And then Jayla kind of takes it for granted, and she's like, oh, yeah, that would be fun to do. <laughs> I <laughs> take then a when dream I s- for granted. Then, then, when, then when I say, like, <laughs> <laughs> then when I say, like, I was actually just kind of <laughs> dreaming and just, like, talking about it, then you get disappointed. I don't think take for granted is the right word. I feel like you, you mean she do. takes it too seriously. Yeah. Okay, okay. Take okay. for granted means not what you think. <laughs> it means, <No>. like, yeah. <laughs> 
Sorry. <laughs> wow, Oliver. I'm an okay. idiot. So I don't know if that answered your question, but kind of. We're kind of both. Yeah. I'm not. You balance each other out. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it like that. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about each other? On a less deep level, I'd probably say her cooking because she's a very good cook. She I, is. Yeah, I she is. I yeah. agree. I didn't wow. like, I wouldn't say I was a foodie or anything, but now that we've got married, I've been done. Definitely a foodie. I'm <laughs> 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 just kidding. <laughs> but before we got married, I, w- I was in college and I would literally eat waffles and mac and cheese and that was like all I would eat and <laughs> I eat a lot more variety of foods. Yeah. Classic now. boy dinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty pretty basic. But on a on a deeper level, um, she's very creative and I like that uh she is passionate about things like YouTube. And I mean, it's just nice to see her pursue something with uh with her whole heart. Oh, thank creatively. you. For you. I mean there's so much you're super patient super I compassionate take a compliment this is not going to go well you have to just take it <laughs> take it like a man i'm gonna compliment you you're super patient you like make everybody around you feel good about themselves like you know everybody loves you you're one of those people that everyone is always super excited to see you and i think it's because you make them feel worthy not like worthy to be your friend, but <laughs> you're worthy. <laughs> you're to be worthy. To be <laughs> <laughs> okay, the better word, the word I was looking for is you make them feel valued. You make them feel valuable. So I really appreciate that about you because I kind of struggle with that. I'm kind of awkward with people sometimes, especially that I don't know very well, and I'm like, eh, I don't know what to say to them, so I just don't like reach out to people. But you're just really good at just. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. It's a lot sweeter answer than Oliver and I's discussion of <laughs> the last question. <laughs> Well, we kind of set you up for failure. Uh, yeah. yeah, mine aren't very deep. This next one that I have is especially not going to be super sweet. <laughs> uh oh. What is a surefire way to annoy your spouse? Oh, I don't know. All right, you go. You go first. first. You, you like love to do little things that will just make me like. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's just a boy thing. Like, you like to pick on me. Also, Oliver's somebody, he loves to get a reaction. Yeah, like yeah I am <laughs> kind of. <laughs> he loves, like, just, like, a little thing that he knows annoys you. He loves to do it. Oh, probably one thing that I do that annoys you is I'm, like, uh, a neat freak about, and a clean freak about, like, things getting clean right away. I think things need to be done right away. What's the right word for that? You know what I'm talking about? Like, it's like, I about can't, I don't have a lot of patience for something not getting done that I ask you to do. Right? Yeah. Or, like, the trash is still sitting there. It's like, oh, it has to be taken out right now. Or, like, we have to, like, Mm. get everything cleaned up right now. And, like, I'm not very good at just, like, sitting down and, like, waiting to finish something sometimes. (laughs) I'm not very good at procrastinating. (laughs) (laughs) And me, me, on the other hand, (laughs) I'm quite a bit better at procrastinating. (laughs) Oh. Yeah, you're, you are kind of a procrastinator. About so that's probably what y- annoys you about him. Yes. Yes. I am. I tend to procrastinate at yes, times. Yes, that's 100%. Not what is a way to annoy you, Oliver? Like, what would I do that would annoy you? It's kind of bad. I this is going like. to start some fights. I know. Live I feel like you guys are pod- saying, like, <laughs> like trying like to give really us questions us that are going to like look worse <laughs> than you guys. <laughs> And I just love you so much. <laughs> Wait, you guys are like gonna have like the perfect relationship. We're gonna be like <laughs> picking us apart. Okay, what do I do that annoys you? It annoys me. <laughs> so like, it happened before church last Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> specific. <laughs> like when stuff is like running, like when we don't have much time to do something. Like oh yeah, last trying to get Sunday ready for church. Like last Sunday just, was not a good. You just turn in, you get morning. Like, you just get into like a bad mood, kind of, and yes. you just like chew me out for like not chew <laughs> me out, <laughs> but it's like it just seems like you kind of chew me out, and you like get annoyed if I like something little is wrong with me, <laughs> like something small that's not a big deal turns into a big deal when you're on like a. Oh my like when we're late for church, like, we're or like something. we had a bad morning already, and we're headed in the car to church. And I'm like. Of course you didn't shave me. Yeah, and it turns into something big that's not that big of a deal. Oh and, that, and it annoys me, yes. kind of. It's, I, I'm really bad when I get stressed. I definitely take it out on Oliver. Yes. Like, I'm like, why are you not out of bed and, like, dressed already? And, like, <laughs> it's, like, basically it's, like, my own fault because I've chosen, like, to not start my morning earlier. And yeah. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, I can feel that to a degree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> 
Wow, that was a good one. I'm so sorry. What is each other's biggest pet peeve? So, like, oh, well, let's turn this into, like, yeah, your biggest pet peeve about each other. Let's <laughs> 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 we'll tear your relationship my, apart my now. My biggest pet bad. peeve about you is that you're just, you're too loving, <laughs> you're too kind. You're too good of a you're cook. You're too beautiful. <laughs> no. Uh, let's I see. know you no, have my, one. I could answer it for you. I mean, that's pretty... It's pretty close to uh, <laughs> what you said. I mean, sometimes Kinsley won't get out of bed with enough <laughs> with enough time. Make she'll she'll so wake up with plenty of time to do everything she needs to do to get to church or get to wherever we're going. But she Oliver's <laughs> like drink everyone, and now he's like Kinsley. <laughs> <laughs> but she then she won't actually get out of bed and start getting ready. That's probably eh, and besides that, she bites her silverware. So she'll bite her spoon as she's pulling it out what? of her mouth. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. that annoys me. Might have been Old a touch out. dramatic. <laughs> like you can hear it clanking on her teeth yeah. and stuff as she pulls it out. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. Wow, you had two different things. <laughs> like you're really trying to limit yourself. From now Kinsley has to do three. <laughs> <clears throat> Which is perfect. <laughs> oh, okay. There it is. <laughs> I think you won't let me cheer you up. Like, if you're feeling down, and I'm, like, <laughs> trying to be hopeful, I'm like, oh, but this. You're just, like, oh. immediately, like, shoot me down. <laughs> like, you're so just, like. So, I'm the realist in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just, like, trying to, like, help you look on the bright side, and you're just, like, yeah, but. Like, you just want to sit and sulk. Yeah. I'll, I'll get. I'll start arguing about the good things in life that she's trying to remind me of. I'll start arguing about how they're not that good or something. It's, <laughs> oh <my goodness. laughs> it's really a bad <laughs> quality of mine because if I if like if I'm in a down mood, I want to be in a down mood. Let me be in a down mood, and I'll I'll get myself out of it and I'll be happy. And I think it's just like mm. understanding the difference. Not that that's always healthy, but sometimes like for me, I'm always like I hate feeling pain or feeling down. So I'm just like. I want to be cheered up, cheered up, cheered mm-hmm. up. Whereas, like, you do like to sit in your feelings a little bit, which I don't think is necessarily bad. Like, I need to allow you to do that a little bit. But it can also be unhealthy. It can be unhealthy both ways. Like, I also yeah. need to, like, process through things and not just be, yeah. like, escape my pain all so the time. So we're a good balance. Yeah. You know? Like, she makes sure that I don't... Because be- before, uh, before we were married, I probably would be more... I would tend more to just sit in my feelings and I would be depressed for like a week at a time and I wouldn't ever think of anything good or happy in the world because she wasn't wow. reminding me of it <laughs> the 24-7. The dark side of Keegan. <laughs> the dark side of Keegan. You could tell Sitting Oliver gets feelings. uncomfortable when things get too serious. Yeah. <laughs> but she, she makes sure that I, I uh, know things like God is going to be faithful even if you're feeling depressed, you know? Yeah, jokes on you, Jalen Oliver. Keegan still made it sweet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> ha! You guys just have the gotcha. perfect relationship, don't you? Uh, we're pretty amazing. <laughs> I mean, we've been married for two and a half years, so we obviously True. have things figured out. True. Yeah, you guys have it all figured out by now. Okay, I want you both to describe what your spouse's perfect vacation would be. Okay, I'll go first because this yeah, it's easy for, for you. you. It's easy yeah. for you. Oliver's perfect vacation is going to anywhere tropical, really. Puerto Rico, maybe, but he also likes Costa Rica. I mean, there's a lot of places he could go. Anywhere tropical, a boat that he can go on, a boat that he can jump off the boat if he wants to go like do some spear fishing, catch some lobsters, but he can also just like easily get back on the boat and then you fish off lobsters? of the boat. Yeah. How do you catch a lobster? You just grab it? Yeah. Yeah. Do they not claw you? <laughs> You just like you just like reach your hand in. You're like, well, no, you're supposed like, to do that. Whoop. Tropical, like the part that we go, the tropical lobsters like that. They don't have claws on them. Oh, really? No, that's just like Maine lobsters. Like they have oh, like the claws closer. on them and everything. I didn't know that. Hmm. Like tropical lobster, but no, a lot of times we'll just shoot them with the spear gun. Which is kind of unethical. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> kind of unethical, but it works. Uh. But basically, he can yeah fish. That is his perfect vacation. Fishing, yes. Fishing a boat. And tropical and warm, but not getting sunburned. Yes, I do not <laughs> like being sunburned, which no one likes being sunburned. I feel Nobody like. Likes, well, I don't, I don't mind getting a little sunburned. Yeah, so I was going to say, Kinsley tan. likes to get crispy. I don't know how many times I heard that she wanted to get crispy. 
just so it turns into a tan. Yeah, when we were on our cruise, she said it so many times. She's like, I just want to get crispy on this trip. Hello, skin cancer. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, what's my perfect vacation? Your perfect vacation would be me and you. Probably just the two of us, I feel like. Or like one other couple. Maybe one other couple. Yeah. And no fishing involved. And I just hang out with you on the beach all day, and we just spend quality time together. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I don't Aww. pass the football with other people. I just kind of hang out with you, and okay, that <laughs> we just, like... <laughs> that sounded yeah, really we, passive-aggressive. We, yeah, do you remember no. the... Like, like, yeah. <laughs> we just... I'm miserable, <laughs> but you're happy. <laughs> no, I actually don't mind him fishing if I have a friend. Like... And we just eat lots of food and yeah. hang out. Yeah. So that's pretty accurate. I don't mind if you fish, but if it was just me and you, I wouldn't want you to do that because I do not like being by myself. So like being on the beach by myself would not be fun. And so, yeah, I would say me and you, maybe one other couple. And then just like definitely I love a tropical location, too. Like we have a very similar vacation. Similar? If that makes sense. Never mind. That's not worth going into. Nope. (laughs) What drew you to each other initially? Do you guys kind of already answer that? Or is that not what drew each other? No, each I don't other. feel like... Okay. <laughs> Our pet peeves are what drew, e- <laughs> <laughs> drew each other to each other. That's not how <coughs> I'll just go first. Works. I think I remember, like, what kind of made me catch feelings for you. It's not that deep, but your sense of humor. Okay. I yeah. thought you were, like, yeah, really, like, good one. Yeah. silly and fun, and I loved that. He's a silly boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, let's be honest. The first thing that drew me to you was that you were very good looking. Fair enough. All right. Thank okay. you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. I, I mean, I, I also <laughs> I also like like the the first time that I really talked to you is at the kayaking trip and we talked about adoption and mission work. And both of those things are things that I was very passionate about and I'm still fairly passionate about having adopted siblings and stuff. <laughs> but both both of those things were like, oh that that's cool. I haven't met very many girls who um I don't know are Share interested that same in art. Yeah. Yeah. What is one item of clothing that your spouse wears that you don't like? Oh, I know what it used to be. It used to be that um, blue sweatshirt oh, that I had. Jacket? Everybody knows oh, about the blue jacket. Everybody knows yes. about the Oliver blue had jacket. This teal puffer coat. Teal is like a dark teal puffer coat. Basically, the reason I started to hate it so much was because he would wear it all winter long, and like he would be inside with like a sweater underneath it, but his like jacket would basically be zipped up and covering. Like a cute sweater that you got him, and he's covering like he it with the jacket. Like he just basically, it was like all he wore was that blue puffer jacket. So like he would never take his jacket off. It was warm. I guess it was warm, but yes, the infamous blue jacket. <laughs> now there's not really much. What's something that I wear that you don't like? Probably what I'm wearing right now. You just looked out of my jacket. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you wear is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, safe <laughs> answer. Is there anything she's worn that you're like, eh, I will not be offended? Well, I'm trying to think. I'm not really like a closey person, so. He probably honestly doesn't really even notice a lot. That's just not something that you would notice. No, I don't. I feel like you would notice, notice like, yeah. if you really liked something, then other than yeah, that, if I really liked something, I would say something, but. Yeah. If not, it all just blends together. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of accurate. What is your funniest memory together? Funniest? Or a funny memory, because it's probably like hard to think of the funniest memory together. The one that comes to mind, I don't remember if I talked about this in the honeymoon one, was when we went swimming, <coughs> or we rode horseback into the water. Oh, yeah. I don't remember if you that talked about it on that so episode funny. or not. And, okay, I feel like it's not as funny to tell the story. Wow. <laughs> but we were both going on horseback into the ocean, which is a super fun experience. I didn't even know it was that fun, but it's just a really cool feeling. Yeah. But Keegan was right behind me, and my horse started to poop, like, (laughs) everywhere. (laughs) And it was floating in the water and bumping my... It wasn't very funny in the moment. It was very, very funny afterwards. I was dying In the the moment, I was, like... It was you could see like a grease film on top of the water of like <laughs> That's green. <horrible>. And <laughs> I was just riding right through it oh. and I was just like, Oh I had a gag reflex. It was yeah. Really funny in hindsight. At the moment it was not, but that's <laughs> probably one of our funnier memories. What is your spouse most likely to become famous for? Fishing. <laughs> <laughs> um being like uh, like a travel influencer or like a fishing influencer, like who like who like like fishing, like who like documents, like like it's not like people who are really into like 
watching that kind of stuff like you yeah like i can see you becoming famous for that like becoming like a big fisherman and like traveling and like having a whole like channel on it and like page on it i would say that doing like a netflix special like meat eater but with uh for fishing, yeah, with like just, just fishing, fishing. Yeah, that like actually catching like different fish, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish, like going that. to different parts of the world I'd and catching that. fish. That'd be cool. Yeah, I feel like that would be like something you could. So then it for. can literally just always be your best vacation. You yeah. can go to all these tropical places, and it's your job. Yeah, that'd be that actually. I mean, yeah, I'm not a big fisherman, but you that still sounds it. like fun, and I'd watch it. Yeah, you would. I need to have one subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you watch me. You think I can make a living off that? That's okay. Hey, they don't do listen to the sister sit. <laughs> <laughs> True. What do you think I could become famous for? Being like a missionary in another country. Like, you know how you read like the Miller, like story time with the Millers? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what that is. You guys never read this as like <laughs> no. a kid? They're like, like famous missionary stories of like other people oh. and like tribes they would go into yeah, 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 yeah. and like make contact with. Yeah. So you're gonna then be sometimes they'd be martyred too, just like different stuff. You're gonna be stuff. famous for being martyred. <laughs> that just sounds really bad, but it was just like I don't know. <laughs> I could see you doing something like that. Honestly, I wouldn't hate that to be become it? famous for that. I don't know about yeah. being in the super scary that's situation, really so and being martyred. But <laughs> hey, that's a really wholesome <laughs> answer. That's wonderful. He is wholesome <laughs> after all. <laughs> all right, next question: What is your favorite weekly s- staple meal? If that makes sense. That you have like each week. Chicken fried rice. Okay. We do not have that every week. But we used to, and it was amazing. <laughs> 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 New pet peeve: not having chicken fried <laughs> rice every week. <laughs> Honestly, the realistic answer now is beef and rice. Ooh, actually, that's really good too. I make either Korean beef or like just beef, and I add like salsa or any veggies. Ooh, that sounds really good. It, it actually is salsa. Yeah, and beans. That would be it is. I. I know it sounds so plain, but it's literally so good. So simple, so cheap. And in reality, like, I am a man of habit. I could have the same five meals pretty much every week. She makes sure I eat a more bigger variety. That's grammar. (laughs) Moving on. A more bigger variety. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) Idiot. Who says they're sorry first? Oliver. I feel like I would be in that way. I've just, like, started noticing that. I'm like, I definitely like hold a grudge or like feel sorry for myself. And like, I don't feel like you do that very much at all. Yeah. I don't really feel sorry for myself or hold a grudge. So Yeah. That's a very good trait to have. Because <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, like, it definitely like, it would probably, I feel like it's, yeah, it's definitely you. you. You don't wait very long. It's like something will happen, like a stressful situation, like on a Sunday morning. And then and like, I'll like, hug. yeah, I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's so sweet. <laughs> We're so cute. They are just so sweet. Yeah. So loving. Uh, I love that for you guys. <laughs> that? Have to say it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what is each other's love languages? You, physical touch, 100%. Just kidding. <laughs> Keegan. Uh, and yours would be quality time and acts of service. You I do mean, also really like gifts. Yeah. But I would that's not something I'm good at. So it's usually she likes to receive gifts, or yeah, she likes to receive gifts. <laughs> I love me some <laughs> gifts, <laughs> but it it just like means a lot more to her than it does for me. Like if I receive a gift, I'm like, oh, cool, thank you, and that's it. But for her, it's like really meaningful to like receive a gift because somebody was thinking about her. Is same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really it's way. good for her. So yeah. I and should probably bring you more flowers. <laughs> It's okay. You are amazing at acts of service. Like, literally today, he surprised me. He wasn't supposed to get home till, like, late tonight, and he surprised me and came home early and cleaned up the whole house. And I was like, wow. Not the whole house. You should see our back room. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. At least cleaned up the main areas. It just made me feel like I walked into my home because I was like, shoot, I need to like do all this stuff. And then I was like, oh, I can just start cooking supper and that's all I have to do. Yeah, Keaton's very good at acts of service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So your spouse asks you to bring you home a treat. What are you bringing them? This is a good one. This has definitely happened before. I know instantly what what I'm going to bring you. Okay, what are you going to bring me? Sour gummies. Worms. Yeah, Ooh. like the trolls. She loves trolls. Trolls. Trolly, is that what it's called? I thought so. Okay, yeah, maybe. I think so. But yeah. I feel like you get burnt out on because... <coughs> Last time I said, bring me anything she said, but trolls. She told me to bring her treat. She said anything but trolls. 
<laughs> and you get her trolls every time she well, wants a tree. Probably because you wanted it to be a surprise and you knew yes. immediately. I was like, okay, well, I just, yeah. But yes, I. I used to ask you to bring me him a surprise. You hated that, though. Like, I'd be like, you stop at Dollar General. Yes. When we were first married. I'd be like, just surprise I, me. And you were just like, oh. I agree. Like, I, she told me to bring her a surprise last, whatever week it was, maybe last week. And I just, like, wandered around Dollar General looking for something. Until I came upon, like, some... <laughs> A nine dollar Lego set, and you were like, oh, "Peanut butter cookies." Nice. I was like, "Oh, these will work." Yeah. yeah, they were good. That's because <laughs> I had a uh, few. <laughs> One time, I bought a container of Ben and Jerry's ice cream because she asked me to get a dessert for lunch, and it was a chocolate based ice cream, and she doesn't like chocolate based ice creams. Um, and then it just melted in my car <laughs> and got all over. So I am traumatized. <laughs> By I forgot being about asked that. to <laughs> bring her special treats. Okay, my go-to treat for getting you is probably Oreos. Yeah, you Oreos. love Oreos, so it's usually Oreos. Although last time I didn't get you the double stuff, and that was a mistake. Yeah. But, oh. but we learned. I can't remember if you like double stuff <laughs> or if it was too <laughs> But we learned. But now I know next time, <laughs> double stuff. What is you guys' go-to restaurant? Chipotle. And slap some Chipotle. Yeah. Although... Uh, sometimes it's McDonald's because every <laughs> once in a while we're a classy bun. Yeah, but <laughs> not KFC. KFC. <laughs> <laughs> we always joke them. About, Oliver always jokes them about KFC because they live really close to a KFC Lee's chicken. chicken. Oh, it's yeah. Lee's. is it a Lee's? Yeah. Yeah. Lee's so we yeah, but I like to make fun of them getting Lee's every night. <laughs> but we love McChickens because McChickens are really good. They're so cheap. Oh yes. And so sometimes if we don't have time or we don't feel like making supper. Usually, if Kinsley doesn't make feel like making supper because I don't hardly know how to cook, uh, Ooh, we'll go and get some McChickens. Step up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get McChickens. Kind of on your off nights from Lee's. You'll get <laughs> McChickens. Yeah, we kind of switch between <laughs> McChickens and Lee's. So, uh, <laughs> who's the bigger baby when they're sick? I don't know. I've hardly ever seen Oliver sick. Yeah, I don't get sick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like no, like yeah, I have been sick before, but like. I haven't been sick in a long time, I Did feel you like. eat a lot of dirt when you were a kid? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's a clear indication that he I'm ate a lot of dirt. <laughs> I'm going to say it's me, but it's like yeah. if I feel really sick, like I just feel really sick. And like I if you feel sick, like anything. you can't do like anything, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not saying that in a bad wow. way. Okay. I'm just saying you just like to lay in bed and just relax. <laughs> <sighs> this past winter, I got sick for like. Not quite a week. It was probably like four Chill days off. or something. And I haven't really seen you sick. You were a little bit sick there, but you didn't get as sick as me. So I'm just going to say me because so I haven't really, really seen you, you really sick. Seen me sick. Yeah. You don't, I don't feel like you hardly ever get sick except like a little stuffy or stomach hurts or something. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Good for you. I hate dirt as a kid, as Keegan would say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is a skill each of you is very good at? Keegan, I mean, it's obvious, woodworking, but also sketching and drawing. Yeah. Like in church, he likes to find somebody, usually somebody like right in front of him and draws the back of their head. Mm, not paying attention to the service? No. Oh, yeah, your stomach's <laughs> Yeah, I know. I wanted to like pull your thing down. I was like, <laughs> but <laughs> if somebody's watching this on YouTube, you're getting the true yeah, good the true content. Voice. Yes, this is definitely one worth watching. Yeah, this is one worth watching. Because <laughs> Keegan's stomach's <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Keegan's hair looks funny. <laughs> I stomach. feel like the people listening to this might be confused about some of the parts. Like, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you need the visual context. Yep. Anyways, continue. Uh, Kinsley is very good at... What? It is kind of hard to... <laughs> I can't think of one thing. No. She's pretty good oh. at laying in bed well. all day. <laughs> <laughs> she is an amazing cook, as I already said, and she's very good at editing. Yeah, that's I am true. very impressed with the way that she has yeah. put herself forth for like learning how to do all that because she's self-taught for all of her editing. And it's like, yeah, it's really cool to see the progression from like her first YouTube to YouTube video to where she is now. It is hard. Like, I don't feel like I'm that good at editing. Yeah, but I, I don't really feel like good. I'm that good at woodworking. Uh, yeah. There's always somebody better yep. than you at something. And because I'm self-taught, I'm always just like, am I even good? Like, am I even doing this right? Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. What would be the reason that your spouse goes to jail? Oh. Wow. <laughs> Murder. 
Oliver would go to jail for, I don't know, you're not like, you wouldn't do a lot of things that are illegal, I don't feel like. Okay, but you would go to jail for speeding because, or no, you would go to, no, you don't go to jail for not wearing your seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something with driving. Reckless driving or something. Think. Reckless driving or like driving too fast because you can go to jail if you drive too fast. Yeah. Right. Going 80 in a 25. Yeah. <laughs> I would say. I have a bad a habit hospital of, zone. of like not paying attention while you're on the road. Or just speeding. Speeding. Of. So yeah, I'm going to say that. Kind of a boring answer, but I honestly can't think of anything. FBI else. open up later tonight. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Good joke, bro. <laughs> the FBI coming to your house because you speed. <laughs> What you would go to jail for? Yeah. You just don't do anything bad. For um good for selling raw milk. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> I'm a good girl, but I really sounds really weird. Yeah, I know. But I <laughs> I'm a good girl, but I do buy raw milk and that's technically illegal to sell in Ohio. True, I do buy raw milk. But I, I don't think it's illegal though. Yeah, I don't know if you'd go to jail <laughs> for, buying for buying it. raw I'm milk. Selling it. The worst is like you'd get fined if you sold it. I doubt somebody's going to I jail. I also can definitely speed and not pay attention while I'm driving. And those are really lame answers, but like I feel like both of us both of us are very um conscious of like right and wrong. And I feel like do you not think that that's true? Yeah, yeah you guys like, you guys would probably steal and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Keegan wouldn't mind stealing something. No, or but no, I feel like neither of us have like had like a oh like to like rob a bank or like oh just like that would be fun to try like, I don't know there's some people who oh like, though honestly yeah I know there's some people who like think this actually <laughs> sounds really interesting yeah, I do too okay that so sounds like that sounds like fun to see if you could rob a bank and actually get away get away with, with it. it or like to uh, in a mob to, scenario yeah yeah or to be in a fast car and try to evade the police. That sounds like a good time. That sounds like my worst nightmare. That sounds like a good time. That does sound like a good time. But there's no consequences. Okay. Moving on. Even if there was. (laughs) What is your best (laughs) way to spend a Sunday afternoon? With Um, friends. Like, we tend to hang out with friends a lot on Sunday. And if I don't, I can get really, like, down. Yeah. I think I always have the expectation of Sundays being pretty social. Yeah. And so... Which I feel like a lot of people, it's like their rest day. They like take a nap. And I think if I was used to that, maybe so. It just tends to be our one day where we hang out with all of our friends. So if everybody's busy and we're just at home, I always am like, yeah, I feel like it's a day wasted. But I need to be more okay with resting on Sundays and reading a book and just. Phobia. FOMO. FOMO. (laughs) Yeah. We called it phobia this weekend. I keep forgetting. I don't know. It's kind of sick. Yes, I do have FOMO. (laughs) Yeah, I'd say that's that's uh, yeah, that's my answer my too. Yeah. Okay, this is my last question. Okay. Who had the most crushes growing up? Probably about the same. Honestly, I don't know. Jayla, you didn't have probably a crush. I only had like two crushes growing up, I feel like. It was probably Like I had me. steady crushes. Like you probably jumped around a lot more. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds that sounds, that sounds really bad. When you know what I mean? <laughs> um I would probably <laughs> say me. Yeah. Because I tended, like, I would, it was, I had a lot of crushes that's, like, I easily would catch feelings. It's not like, like, I had a couple, like, long-term crushes, <laughs> but I Steady. easily, like, would catch feelings for people. So, I would just probably say me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would say so. But you were never, I always had more crushes than you. So, I never thought of you as, like, like I was, having tons of crushes. I was definitely, like, way more scared to talk to boys than you were. So, probably, like, so you tended to, like, be, like, a lot more outgoing with guys and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> AKA flirting. <laughs> I was you a flirt. To be more outgoing with the guys. No, but yeah. Yeah, I was not shy. I definitely was for a long time, like very intimidated. Hmm. All right. My last question is if you could live anywhere else for a year, where would you choose to live? Because I don't ever like to say if you could live anywhere else because then you're going to choose something practical. But if it's like for a year, it's like you could choose something more exotic. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think I know my answer because we've talked, well, unless it was on the mission field. But if I'm just talking about like we go somewhere for work or I mean, this like could a cool be a mission spot too. to live basically. Yeah. But I was talking about the one place I'd love to live in the U.S. is Hawaii. Like okay. I see the like Hawaii families, families and everything. Yeah. And but I'm like, I could never move there. I mean, it's not that practical of a decision. And I just could. It's hard for me to think about moving so far away from family. But if it's like one year. Yeah. Like that would be so really good experience it. But like you're it's like 
it's long. It's not long enough that you like become super distant from everyone. Yeah. I wouldn't think. And I'm kind of choosing Hawaii because it's still kind of in America, an English speaking place. Yeah. There's not going to be tons of cultural yeah. changes. Yeah. So, I just think that would be so fun to live that like beach tropical life. Ugh. That sounds kind of lame. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That uh, that would be fun. Uh, but yeah, I agree. <laughs> just kidding, kidding. I don't. I don't know. The uh, the thing is, a big part of our lives is the social aspect. So I I can't imagine going and living somewhere without all of our friends. But you can make new friends. But he choose to live in Troy, Ohio, <laughs> instead of Chicago. <laughs> no. I guess if I was going to choose one place, I would choose somewhere that's just like wildly beautiful that I'd never be able to get anywhere around here. So like maybe somewhere in the Alps or New Zealand would be okay. really cool. New yeah. Zealand yeah. would be cool. Yeah. yeah. Because that it's would. just like wildly pretty and that's somewhere you could just explore and do so much stuff. Like have a really little enjoy that. Have a little homestead, like cottage yeah. in the yeah. Alps. Yeah, in the Alps with a cow out back. Make your own cheese. Yeah. That, that just doesn't I sound just like a one year commitment. <laughs> you like start a whole homestead <laughs> to live there one year and leave. <sighs> but yeah, that's Podcast a good Podcast in one year in the in the in New Zealand. It's gonna happen. We have five hundred K subscribers. <laughs> on this yeah, five hundred K subscribers. <laughs> and we will film this in New Zealand. That'd be all crazy. All right. Well, I have another question, but you should just ask it. We can all answer it. Let's all okay, answer this last okay. one. Things that make you emotional. I guess I don't mean like super deep things because there's a lot of things that would make you emotional. But just like something that's like, oh, it's kind of like a unique thing that like, oh, yeah, this always make you emotional. You don't actually have to like cry at them because I know you know what I'm saying. This isn't that weird, but lately I've been watching like people's birth vlogs and birth videos. Ooh. And I always mm. like tear up. Baby fever, but <laughs> not because I'm pregnant. Yeah. I just... I think it's so cool, um, birth. Like, it's just the most amazing miracle. And every time it's like the baby comes out and they're crying, I'm just, like, tearing up. Yeah. Uh, I think some maybe a little bit more unique is I'll listen to a lot of orchestral music. And every <laughs> once in a while, and a song will just hit just right. I'll, like, listen to it and be watching a sunset or something. Or even I'll, I can just be sitting at home literally doing nothing and listening to orchestral music or a soundtrack from a movie that I really like, like how to train your dragon. There's a song called test flight. And in the movie, it's when he like throws away the paper. I don't know if you watched it. And then he like punches the little lever and then it's like, dun, dun, dun. Literally almost every time makes me tear up and like, Oh, that's just so cool. All right. So like (laughs) epic orchestral music makes me tear up. Hmm. What makes me emotional? I feel like some of the emotional I want to say, points in my life is like when the Bengals lose. Like oh. just, I'm just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Like that deep sadness you feel. No. I was just kidding. I don't know. I'm you know, kind of an animal cro- person. Yeah, so I'm, like I when I see like animals that are like struggling or hurt. It makes I have sense. watched you shoot a bird and then feed it to your cats. I know, but it's just like there's certain things. Certain animals. Yeah. Cats are his soft spot. Yeah. For sure. So yeah, I would say a cat thing. I would say, I'm going to say the same thing for me. The other night we were going through Bradford and this is really sad. <laughs> I told you this when I got home. <laughs> what a depressing like, ending. Because you weren't with me. I was with your mom. And there was a dead cat on the road and there was like another cat beside it. <laughs> Oh, my Aww. word. It was, like, really depressing. I kind of wished I had, like... Wait, so it was, like, beside it, like, just so snuggled it was up like, to it? I, like, we were driving. I saw a cat kind of, like, running away. And I was, and then I looked beside it, like, where it had ran, and there was a dead cat there. And it probably was out on the road looking at the dead cat. It's probably Aww. eating it. I don't know. Oh, but you always... That's I always, not always sad. <laughs> that's not as sad. That's more, like, nature. But, like, when you think of it, like, being nature its friend... Nature is metal. Yeah, but like sad, like I cannot watch sad dog and cat videos. It's not only that, it's like in like when you like hit like a squirrel or something on the road, you just feel instant sadness. Yeah. Like you just feel like horrible. Yeah, so we were having that bad Sunday morning. (laughs) Of course, we were like, we finally get in the car for church and then Oliver hits a squirrel. He's like, I wish that hadn't have happened. (laughs) (laughs) Just like Um, the cherry on top. Yeah, it was like if we would have left earlier, that wouldn't have ever happened, but. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, it's not my fault. It was all Jayla's fault that you hit the squirrel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. oh my if goodness. If you could have a teleportation device to one other area in your house, 
where would it be? Like what? it's in your it's what? in your, if you if you could teleport from your house to one other location that's not Puerto Rico, where would it be? Oh. It's just like one like just you can go from that place back and forth as many times as you want. The beach. The beach. Warm hot sure. beach. Just the beach. Oh the Caribbean. Beach. Yeah. So that in the winter drop you in the ocean. South America would be <laughs> sweet someplace. Yeah, I I never been to Costa Rica, but I'm gonna say Costa Rica because I think that's cool down there. All Somewhere really in South America. It. That'd be awesome. Anyway, I'll jungles, s- yeah, beach, say like water, sun, Jamaica, food. or somewhere hot mm-hmm. that whenever. Oh, especially in the winter, that would be so yeah. nice. Yeah, oh, that in would the be, winter, that would be convenient. <laughs> yeah, cure the wintertime cool. blues. Yeah. Depression. Yeah. Could you heat your house? Well, never mind. Heat your house with like open the (laughs) open the portal. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it was a practical decision to save money on our heat bill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, this was a fun episode, a very chaotic episode. I'm really nervous about editing this. (laughs) (laughs) I know. But I hope that you guys enjoyed. I definitely want you guys back on the podcast. This was really fun. Glad to be here. Glad Glad to be here. (laughs) <laughs> you just said exactly what you said. Well, I didn't know what else to say. <laughs> Are you actually glad to be here, Oliver? Yeah. Was it more fun than you thought? Yeah, it was more fun than I thought. Okay, I figured you'd. Yeah. Like, I'm like, Oliver. Like you, Oliver took a little bit more convincing. I want. I mean, to be honest, I wanted to I stay wasn't at home. Convinced. I was just <laughs> after told. work. I wanted to just stay at home and be at home. But well, he I usually, appreciate. He the always comes. Because Kinsley does cook really good. Yes, Usually I like to come eat her food. And then I drive home. separate and I just come and eat her food. <laughs> then I head home. Yeah. <laughs> Classic Oliver. <laughs> just take what I want and then leave. <laughs> 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 oh, my oh, my word. Heartless well, person. <laughs> it was fun that you guys could get to know our husbands a little bit better. Maybe us a little bit better, too. I hope that you enjoyed. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. We love to hear from you guys. And be sure to follow our Instagram at Sister Sip and rate our podcast five stars on the Apple or Spotify. It would really mean a lot to us. We appreciate your support so much. And thanks for watching or listening. (laughs) Bye. Bye.